morning Bitcoin machine. Not taking the car today, guys. I'm walking to the beach. But always remember to be your own bank. Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world, guys. Whenever you're watching this video. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihudu, and yes, I am the father of the Bitcoin family that has been traveling the world now for four years, solely living on cryptocurrencies. Four years ago, we sold our house, our cars, literally everything we owned. My wife and my beautiful three daughters started traveling the world. Now, almost four years later, still traveling the world, today coming to you guys from Lagos in Portugal. Yes, heading for my own beach, and no, I don't own the beach, but it's the beach in front of my apartment. In today's video guys, of course, talking about the Bitcoin price, sharing some really cool charts with you guys that are showing what is going to happen now after we broke the 11k region. Also updating you guys about our family life and what we are going to do today and the next couple of weeks. And in the end guys, talking about different blockchain news, like how China is now promoting the digital yuan, how the Brave browser now is one of the top browsers in the Google Play Store and how you now can probably become the owner of a whiskey distillery. Enjoy today's video guys! As you probably are getting used to guys, we are starting with the Bitcoin family park. Yes, let's look into the family a little bit from this beautiful beach here in Maya Praia or Praia Maya, Praia Maya it is. <laughs> probably too dark to film guys, but I was invited to go to this uh, music evening at Quinta do Chi tonight. Um, it's live music, some food, some drinks. So that's where I'm driving to. An English band playing. A lot of people there with the same mind. So cool vibe probably. No family in the car. Get yes, it's uh, the Didi solo night on Friday. Yes, you gotta <laughs> find some people to live. You don't have to worry if you got no money. People on the river are ready to give. And big wheels keep on turning. Primary keeps on burning. Yes, it is very early guys. I think it's around 8 o'clock or something or 7.30. No, 8 o'clock I think. Yes, I can see the sun. It's 8 o'clock. I've been traveling so long. I'm a hardcore traveler, man. I can read the clock from the sun. Not. <laughs> I wish I could. Sometimes I can. If I stay in the place for longer, then I am able uh, to read the clock by looking at the sun. And yes, of course, met a lot of people in this evening. So the network here in Portugal is slowly growing and people are slowly getting sick of me talking about Bitcoin every day again. <laughs> no, most people just ask me about Bitcoin and I just give them an answer. But my answers mostly are very long. So I need to keep them shorter. Just like I need to make these videos shorter. The previous video I shared with you took about 20 minutes. Cut out a lot of bullshit and then the video was only 8 minutes. I want to share the link with you guys to the video of 8 minutes so that you can let me know which version did you prefer? Did you prefer the 20 minute video or the shorter 8 minute video that just cuts to the case and still has my flow and humor but like it's just a little bit shorter. Let me know what you think. I will post the link below to the shorter 8 minute video from two days ago. So let me know what you think about it. I will walk a little bit more to the left so you are not like bothered by the sounds of the waves. I received this really cool scent, uh, car scent thing. How do you call it? Car scents? He used a Hugo Boss perfume because, you know, Bitcoin is the boss. <laughs> they don't have a web shot yet. They sent me this as a present and you can order it by sending an email to plan.b at mine.gmx. Send the mail to the email address and they will handle the rest. Today, by the way, we are going to do a, a family meetup somewhere here in Portugal. It's called Monte Clerico, a beach. A lot of families are gathering there. We are going to go there to mingle a little bit and uh, to see if we can find families with same age kids like we have. This one was organized by, I think, Steve Brookland 
and his family. So let's see, we will drive there later this afternoon and I will add the videos to tomorrow's video, of course. That was the family part of the video, guys. Let's dive into the charts. So let's start and bam the first chart onto your screen. One, two, three, and bam! Yes, this is a day chart, guys. Every candle is a day. After two days having these beautiful green candles on the charts, and now we reach 11,300 US dollar. But the next target, guys, is around 11,700 US dollar, and then even 11,850 US dollar. These two levels are very important to break before we can even smell 12k and then if we break these levels 12,000 and 12,500 US dollar per Bitcoin is going to be next going to turn around guys yes it will be a shorter video today like I want to try the short videos as well um, yes so 12k is the next level we want to reach if you are falling back from this level guys there is still a huge support around 11,500 US dollar yes I think we can go even higher and break 12k very soon and when we zoom out to the charts guys let's zoom out to the weekly chart to this one bam on this weekly chart we can see that the rsi is also curling up you can also see that the last five weeks guys we are creating higher lows and also higher highs which is very positive because this is showing us a trend where you create higher lows and higher highs you're forming a channel upwards that means that the trend is upwards so this weekly chart looks very positive to me as well just as positive as this beautiful sunday here in lagos portugal like you can see guys on this chart bam beautiful black chart with its greenish circles on this chart you can see the biggest level of resistance if you look to the left on the chart you can see this huge green circle around 11,850 this means this is a really big area of resistance we need to break this level 11,850 before we can go up to 12k so these circles are indicating all the resistance levels we need to fight before we can reach 12k 14k 16k and 20k after that guys people always ask me Didi why are you always so positive you know um, define positive I'm positive in life because I know that life can go very fast. I lost my parents on a very young age, so I'm going to enjoy every day instead of like stressing or freaking out or whatever. Why would you worry about all these stupid things that just make your life more difficult? Just go with the flow. Don't swim against the stream. If you swim with the stream, life is just a little bit more easy. And I just don't want to spend time to all these negative things that are happening now in the world. I just want to spend time to my family, to all the family, that's like all you family token holders. That is why I'm always positive in life. If you ask me why are you always positive about the charts, there's also a very simple explanation why I am positive about the charts. I am very positive about the charts because I am a long-term investor. And as a long-term investor, you need to zoom out on Bitcoin and zoom in on life. So yes, this shirt's also available in our t-shirt store. Um, soon I will open another t-shirt store that I connect to the YouTube videos so that you can see the shirts you can buy below the videos. Because always remember that 25% of the sales of these shirts, the profits of these shirts, will go to charity. And we want to support charity as much as possible as a family. But that is not the answer really to the question, why are you always so positive in the charts? Yes, you start to brabble again. The video is going to be too long again. If you continue like this, shut the fuck up and talk about the charts the reason why i am so positive about long-term investment in bitcoin is that i can see that all these big companies now start to buy and hodl bitcoin yes very important they not only buy they also hodl their bitcoins so if you take a look at this table bam beautiful table should we bam at tables we bam at charts maybe we should do another sound for the tables tables we take another sound like click no like chaka no that's not a beautiful word we take kaboom no that's also not cool and then we just bam okay bam on this table you can see all these publicly traded funds these companies already own about three percent of the total amount of bitcoins around in the article that i read there was stated 11 percent but if i calculate all these numbers in the table i come to a three percent number so i will keep it to three percent to be sure 
And yes, maybe this article is referring to all the Bitcoins that are lost and the 1 million Bitcoins that are not going to move. And then in total, we know that around 11% of the Bitcoins is held for long term. Maybe that is what they try to tell us. But what I can see in the stable is that only 3% of the Bitcoins are held by all these funds. Did I just say only? I meant 3% of the total Bitcoin supply is now locked up in these funds because they bought it for the long term. They are zooming out. MicroStrategy now holding 38,200 Bitcoins. Galaxy Digital holding around 16,000 Bitcoins. Square with their 50 million buy order, uh, I think two days ago, they hold now 4,700 Bitcoins. And then we are arriving at the number two and number one on the list, on the number two coin shares with 69,000 Bitcoins. And yes, of course, on the number one place is Grayscale. They now almost own 450,000 Bitcoins, guys. So in total, this is about 3% of the total Bitcoins around that are like secured in these publicly traded investment funds that are not buying it for the short term, but are holding it for the long term, which means less Bitcoins are being sold into the market. The less Bitcoins there are available to buy for other people, the higher the price will go. Because it's all a game of supply and demand. And if the supply is decreasing, because all these people are holding their Bitcoins, and the demand is growing, more and more people start to fight over a few Bitcoins that are left. And to buy these few Bitcoins, they are driving the price up. This is how supply and demand works. Because the miners are holding at the moment, because these investment funds are holding at the moment, and all the whales are accumulating Bitcoins at the moment, they are not going to sell because they accumulate also for the long term. So less and less Bitcoins will be available for the normal people out there. And that is why I have this positive attitude to the Bitcoin price in the long term. That is why I have been shouting the last like two, three months for you guys. We are not going to fill the CME gap. We are going up. We are going to go to 11K, to 12K, to 14K, to 16K, and then to create a new all-time high. That is why I think the price is going to go up. That were all the charts for today. And now we are going to go into the blockchain slash news part where it where I talk a little bit about the news that I've been reading today. Let's start with this blockchain slash news part, bam! Or let's go into the new parts by saying kaboom! Did he make up your mind which sounds you want to use in the video? Let's go to the blockchain news part, kaboom! Instead of bam! First news item guys is about China. Did you see Shenzhen, the city in China, they are going to promote the digital yuan. How are they going to do it? They just observed the 2017 bull run, of course. They are going to do a giveaway. <laughs> yes, a country doing a cryptocurrency giveaway. So we have countries in this world that are against Bitcoin, that are even saying, nah, Bitcoin is illegal. You are not able to use Bitcoin in this country. And there are countries like China that are saying we are going to do giveaways of our new digital yuan. Because China will, in my opinion, be the leading country when it comes to mainstream adoption of cryptocurrency. Yes, it is a centralized form of cryptocurrency. It's the digital yuan. But I think China is making a huge step by shilling and promoting their own digital yuan by giving away one and a half million US dollar in digital yuan to the people of Shenzhen. They are taking a very big step here because they foresee what is going to happen in the future. The Chinese understand that this cryptocurrency is going to be the new money of the future and they want to lead the new era in money. And they understand that they can replace the dollar as this world-backed currency. They are giving a very big signal to the people, guys, we are going to be the first that is going to use digital cryptocurrency on a daily base. And then the second news item, guys, is about the Brave browser, which is a very cool cryptocurrency private browser, is now top ranked in the Google Play Store. It is even ranked higher than the Google Chrome browser. So Brave is doing a great job. I think they are going to grow tremendously in the next couple of years because they are securing your privacy. They are making sure that whatever you Google while using the Brave browser is going to happen in a private way. Nobody can collect your data anymore. And that is exactly what we need because if this huge company want to mine my data 
So they want to use the data by you know, seeing what I do, then they should be paying me. I own my data. I am the person that creates the data, so I should be rewarded if other companies use my data. And that is exactly where the Brave browser steps in, because they protect you from other companies using your data, and that is just amazing. And the next step will be that you will be able to sell your data to companies. Yes, we are just in the beginning of this whole evolution in these browsers, but I think Brave is going to be huge in the future. And the last use item, before I cross this railway, guys, there is now a possibility for you guys to buy into a whiskey distillery on the Faroe Islands. The distillery is going to be named Fair, F-A-E-R. I don't know how to pronounce it. Fear is not the white ray. It's fair, 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 something like this. But you can become an owner now by using your cryptocurrency and buy into their company. Really cool project. They already found the land where they are going to build the distillery. Um, but you can become partly owner by investing in this one. Yes, that was the last news of today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your community, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. I want to remember you to always zoom out in crypto, like my shirt is saying, and zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what makes life worth living. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bye.